Hi guys, um, today's story is going to be about Philip and you can read it in Acts chapter 8 and it's Philip in, well it's, it's um, Philip reaching out to um, someone that didn't know about Jesus and um, the scene set where Jesus has died and come back to life again and Philip was one of the disciples, the, the men that followed around, one of the 12 men that followed Jesus and Jesus taught them and he was with him for three years. So he knew lots about what Jesus could do and what Jesus had empowered him to do. And uh, he's, he, he lived in a place called Caesarea, but he'd gone down to Samaria and he was he was telling everyone in the cities and in the villages all about Jesus. And one day, as he was going along, an angel appeared to him. And she said to him, this is Philip, and she said to him, Philip, can you go along to the road that leads to Gaza? And it's the road from Jerusalem to Gaza. And I looked it up and it's about 50 miles this road and uh, they, they didn't have cars in those days so that was quite a long road for him to go on but anyway he was obedient and he went down this road so after Jesus had died and come back to life again there was persecution in um, in Jerusalem so that's why everyone that was a believer would go out further to avoid persecution and that's how the good news of Jesus spread and as Philip was going down this road to Samaria uh, not from not to Samaria to Gaza um, the Holy Spirit said to him come close to this this man in a, a chariot and he, ca he came close to him and uh, he could hear this man reading and he was read he was sitting on his chariot and he was richly robed and it turned out that he was um, an Ethiopian eunuch from a place, called, well, a place called Ethiopia but that was um, the middle of Africa and I researched it and it's 2,600 miles that he'd come to worship God in Jerusalem and it must have been quite a um, once in a lifetime experience and he, he was a treasurer for Candice, who was the queen of Ethiopia. So he looked after all the monies in, in her estate. So he was a really important man. And he was reading from Isaiah. And Isaiah was um, a prophet that had written these things about 712 years before Jesus came on the scene, Jesus was born. And these are the words that he was reading aloud. And he said, he was led like a sheep to be slaughtered and like a lamb before the shearer is silent. So he did not open his mouth. He, in his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of it, his descendants? For his life was taken from the earth. And Philip went up to him and he heard this and he said to him do you understand what you're reading and the eunuch said to him no he said is it about is it about the um, prophet Isaiah or is it about someone else so Philip said um, can I come up and tell you so he, he got on his chariot and um, he told him that the good news of Jesus, that Jesus was the one that the um, prophet was talking about, that he was going to come into the world and pay the price for all the wrong things that we do. And um, as they went along the road in the chariot, um, all of a sudden, uh, uh, Philip was explaining everything about Jesus to him and uh, he said, you know, if, you're, if you believe in your heart what I've told you, 
then you can be baptized. So as they were going along the road, this um, uh, eunuch saw that there was a, a pool ahead. So he said, uh, can I be baptized there? So they jumped up. Well, it's, the scripture says that he told his um, chap that was um, controlling the uh, chariot to stop so that they could stop and he could be baptized in the in the water and uh, the bible tells us that as he was baptized as philip baptized him which means that he put him under the water so that the water it was like um as he goes under the water he comes out a new creation all his sins have been forgiven and he repented of his sins and he came up and as he came up, Philip disappeared. And uh, scripture says that the Ethiopian got back on his chariot and he went back to Africa rejoicing at what had happened to him. And this was just such an amazing thing for him. But Philip found himself in a place called um, Azor Azortus, which was 50 mi no, 20 miles north of where he just baptized this this Ethiopian eunuch and um, I, I looked it up and Philip lived in Caesarea which was well north and it was about 120 miles away so <laughs> scripture says that he went about in the villages and towns just telling everyone that would hear the good news of Jesus and that's how the good news spread and that's my story today. I'll just say a prayer, um, just asking God to help us to be like Philip and tell the good news to everyone. So Father, we just thank you for Philip and his obedience to go and tell the good news to everyone and, and that he was obedient to the angel and he was obedient to the Holy Spirit. And we just thank you, thank you for him. And we just ask you to help us to be like Philip. Amen. Hi guys, today um, on Busy Art, Busy Sylvie, we're going to do the artwork of the Ethiopian eunuch being baptised and Philip goes out into the desert. And there he is, his chariot, and he gets off and he's baptised. Okay, so um, I'll show you how to make it. Now we've got we've got the templates which you can get on the website. There's the Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch and the background. Okay, now that's been photocopied on 160 gram card. Um, I've coloured them in. You can have fun colouring them in. Them in. Um, I've got some just plastic, you can use recycling plastic um, to, for, the, for the water. So I've stuck that just either side with some two stick tape, double sided sticky tape <coughs> behind or glue it. <coughs> right, for these I'll take this, dismantle this one, and you can see how it works. I've made um, pin okay. I made a split pin I've shown you those before how to make it with not with cardboard but this is just how you can see how it's done just with recycling plastic so it's got some little shoulders and <clears throat> make a hole between the legs there and a hole on the artwork there's a dot dot on the artwork i've got a dot on the artwork yes so that's where they access from so you can put that through there and then through your hole here and open the slip pin up now you've got to cut out your arc 
which is on the the artwork. So you can just plunge your, this is the easiest way of doing it, just plunge your scissors through it between the lines and then come through the bottom and then you can easily cut that out with scissors. Now if it's, when you make it up, if it's, um, if it doesn't run smoothly when you uh, do it, you can just cut, cut it a bit wider and see where it's catching, if it does catch and it will run smoothly. Um, right, so I've done that bit. You, you've cut that piece out. Yeah, you just cut out right there. Cut out around these bits. I've just left a, a little border around to make it easier to cut out. <clears throat> and I made this on the back. It's, um, it's that shape. I'll show you here. How I've done it. It's just that sort of shape. So this piece can stick on the I'll cut that piece off. This flat piece can stick on the back of the figures and this sticks out at the back. So I just put some two sticks tape in here and it will stay together. like so like so there you have your little thing now let's come out put it in there now this if you Stick it, stick that through about in the centre, like so, and then bring your figures up behind it. Put some double sided sticky tape on this side of it. So then you can bring your figures up to it and just push them down, and it should should be centralised and it will slide up and down easily like that but as I say if it doesn't slide up and down easily you can have a look along where it's catching and just trim it up a bit more and that will remind you of the story of God sending Philip out into the desert and meeting that Ethiopian unit that was just travelling along on his chariot and he wanted to be baptised because Philip said believe and be baptised every one of you that's what Jesus said okay so that's your busy art for today enjoy what you're doing and remember the story and God bless mm -hmm.